Exam successes course on mathematics extends your basic knowledge of mathematics and applies them to an exam situation. This means we teach you how to think strategically about mathematics so that you can apply it in the exam and correct, get the answer correct. We do this by having one, over 100 practice questions. Number two, videos and notes on key areas of mathematics that are tested and shortcuts in answering the question. Three, step-by-step -step explanations from checking out the question all the way to answering it successfully. Additionally, the course will cover the following 12 checkpoints. Introduction, transposing and solving word questions to formula. Basics, the addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Percentages and decimal movements along with ratios. Symmetry, geometry and angles. Reading graphs, algebra, area perimeter and volume and distance. Savings and profit. Time zone differences and probability. Final exam and solutions to the exam. This course is meant to be self-contained and it includes both theory and practice. We have theory through things such as instructional videos, um, notes and images, and it's supposed to be including practice through practice questions. Because this course is organised in terms of checkpoints, you can progress through it at your own pace. You can go as slowly or as quickly as you like. If you ever need a refresher or to reinforce your knowledge, you can always go back to the checkpoint and revisit. You'll feel more confident because everything is explained in simple to understand terms. This means less confusion and greater understanding and better preparation for your exam. Here's a quick extract. So in this video, I'm going to go through questions 14 to 15 of Maths Test 1 available from the Department of Education New South Wales. Um, this is just a demonstration on the level of explanation that we aim to provide in our course. So our course will include original practice questions that we'll be basing our illustrations on and they're developed by us. So let's start. So question 14 to 15, the numbers 1, 7, 19, um, 37 are sometimes called snowflake numbers because they can be pictured as a pattern of dots like this. So what they've done is you've been given information so um, and the second number sequence is obtained by counting the number of dots on the line so 7, 13, 19. So what they mean by that, the number of dots on the lines let me highlight this. There's two concepts here. So this is one concept and it's shown down here. And that's this, okay, the number of dots on the line. The other concept is the snowflake number. Okay, and that's how many of these dots make up the snowflake. Okay, so two concepts, the dots and the lines. So let's go through the questions. And what they've done is giving you the first, second, third, fourth, and the number of dots as well, okay? And that follows a similar pattern. Um, but it's good to know the difference between the two major concepts, okay? What they're wanting to know is the fifth snowflake number is, and they've given you a bunch of numbers here. The most important thing to know is with these um, mathematical questions, um, especially produced by ASA, is that a lot of their questions resolve, um, revolve around, I guess, thinking about mathematical issues. Um, this question is not actually that hard because it just involves addition and, you know, um, subtraction and whatnot. Um, but it's about looking visually at the image, okay? It's just thinking about it. So 1, 7, 19 and 37. What is the difference? They want you to find the fifth one, okay? So that's this, the last one here, right? You know that the snowflake always has how many lines? One, two, three, four, five, six, six of them, okay? And that remains constant. So what you do know is this. Let me bring out a thing. There are always six lines, right? But then that means that each dot, 
there must be six dots for the fifth um, for the fifth line. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've already got six down. So let's note that down here. Six. Okay, because they're on the lines. Then what's left? What's left is these dots. You know that it's progressing by one dot, by two dots. So obviously the fifth row would be three dots, okay? How many parts are there? There's six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six parts with three dots in there. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, by multiplication, okay? So what you've got now is three times six, okay? So you've got six plus three times six. Three times six, as we know, is is 18. So what you do have is this. You've got 18 plus six, which is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. So to get, we know that the dots all around here on the fifth row should be 24. Okay, and to get the fifth number of snowflakes, all you have to do now is use the fourth, so 34, sorry, 37 plus 24, which is 61. See, and there's your answer. Sixty-one is the answer. Can you see how we've gotten that? So we don't need to. I guess one of the down pitfalls with this is sometimes people think, okay, well there must be a pattern between one and seven, one and seven and nineteen um, and thirty-seven. But you can easily come to the answer by thinking through the question and looking at the images, okay? Because they've provided a visual cue and also numbers as well. The easiest way to do that is actually to think about it. Think about it in parts. So we thought about it in lines, so there's six lines, and then also the portions in, inside, okay? And that's three, three dots inside, so three times six. Um, let's move on to the next one, question 15. So how many dots on the lines would there be in a picture showing the fifth snowflake number? The easiest way to do this, because there's not much, um, and if you have time, you can just count it. So you know that there's one, two, three. Uh, actually, the easiest way to do this is we know that there's nine, um, 19. All we have to do is, because we know that there's six, um, six dots, because there's six lines, all we have to do is this. 19 plus 6, so 19... Um, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and it should be this, 25. Okay, so there's the easy way to go about these type of questions. So to recap, this is what we do. We think, we look at the question and we approach it in the most easiest way possible. We know there are visuals, so let's use them. We need to know that there are two different concepts, the number of dots on the lines, Okay, and then the snowflake number. So how many dots are there all together? Okay, we know that there are lines. So there's each, each time there would be six of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, regardless of what level it is. See, can you see there that the first number, it's actually increasing by six there. And then also there's another six down here. So what really differs is that space in, t in between. So there's one. And here, can you see, there's two. So therefore, the next one will be three. So think about things visually because all this question involves, and you can see here, multiplication, addition, and multiplication, sorry, and addition there. Okay, so that concludes um, just this little sample question, and I hope you enjoy. We hope you enjoyed this video. So please comment below or subscribe um, to get notified for new videos.